The employees in their petition claims that they have been receiving low wages since the company outsourced the employment of workers to APS in 2015. In addition, the employees said they do not have fixed wages and are paid per hour and on a no-work-no-pay system. Some of their colleagues on production end up taking home between $400 and $600 per month, while truck helpers may end up receiving $1,200 to $1,500. This, the employees say, is frustrating as it does not consider the difference in workload. The employees in their petition also claims that they do not have medical aid or any benefits and wants fair treatment and compensation for their hard work. We are not working for APS, but APS is a crook company that is confiscating our salaries. APS does not have any depot in Namibia, no transport or truck for APS. No warehouse of APS, but we are being used as slaveries in an independent country by APS. The demonstrators are calling for the abolishment of APS as labor agent and want Coca-Cola Beverages Namibia to recruit them directly. We have been working for Coca-Cola for 20 years, but until today, we are still being used by APS as slaveries. To compare the salary from those working in the Coca-Cola company, a driver of loading truckers with the one of APS, there is a big difference, but all they are doing same work. They gave APS until the 2nd of May this year to respond to their grievances. The employees further want action taken against their supervisor, Gabriel Shishiveni, who they accuse of making decisions without workers' inputs and of using abusive languages towards them. Saibran the Beer received their petition. We don't agree to everything and all the facts that is in this petition. Some of the facts are definitely wrong, but we will respond to it as requested by the deadline that you've given us. I hope that we can resolve the issues because as an employer, uh, one of the largest employers across this country of people, we want people to be happy.